On today's Mead Monday, we're trying Bun Ratty Mead. Okay. We got this knowing full well what it says on the front. <laughs> and this is why we got it, because some things just need to be talked about. This says, white wine with honey and herbs added. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is not mead. This is white wine with honey and herbs added. So it's going to be judged as a white wine with honey and herbs added rather than a mead. So. At first we were kind of excited about that before we saw. Because I've heard this name. Right there Keep underneath hearing that the it's name. so great. And then I find out it's not even mead. Because it's handcrafted in Ireland. So we're like, yay, this might mean that this is a mead that not only we can get, but our viewers in Europe can get as well. And then right underneath the name, white wine with honey and herbs added. And, we're and they like, talk about mead on the back and how it's what? this ceremonial thing and all this. Why didn't you actually make mead then? I'm sorry, that just kind of bothers me. But anyway, we're going to drink it. Now, it does give tasting notes, or serving suggestions, I'm sorry. And it said chilled. And it said chilled. Ours is not chilled. Ours, Ours is, is about 70 degrees, which makes it less than chilled. <laughs> so that may, well, it will alter the flavor profile. And the thing is, they say with herbs and spices added, but they don't say which herbs, they don't say which spices. It does contain sulfites, which I'm not surprised because they made a white wine and then added honey to it and they had to stop the fermentation somehow. So, but a, a comment on that, Brian gets all uppity, but he knows, we know, and now you will know that regardless of whether sulfites were added, oh, that's sulfites fine. are going to be they're present naturally occurring because too. they're naturally occurring. No, no. My real issue is with this. It says Bonradi mead, white wine with honey. If it's, they just took that word mead out, I have zero <laughs> issue with this product. Because it's not mead. Mead is fermented honey. There's no fermented honey in this product, therefore it's not mead. However, we're going to drink it anyway. First, it is a beautiful color, nice and clear. I can tell already that this is going to be kind of sweet because it's... You can smell it. Oh yeah, you read that? They talk about like how it's traditional to give mead to a bride and groom on their wedding night and you know, the whole history of the honeymoon thing, which is not true, actually, because that was debunked. They make a big deal about mead, but this isn't mead. I, I hate to do that to a company, but don't they realize that this isn't mead? <laughs> it has to be fermented honey to be mead. How many times can I say that? I could say it more. Well, they do have some interesting um, suggestions here. They said, Bunnerati mead can be drunk, chilled, before meals, or as a relaxing after-dinner drink. Mm. You may also enjoy mead on the rocks with a slice of lemon. In the winter, nothing takes the chill out better than mead as a hot toddy. And you may wish to drink it at dinner with your chicken, turkey, or game. So, they give you serving yeah. suggestions. It's they white wine. They give you food <laughs> pairings. So, I It's white wine. What do you drink that. white wine with? So on the scent, I am getting honey and I am getting herbs. I'm definitely getting the herbs and spices. A little bit of a honey I, note. Um, not so much white wine. This is 14.7 ABV, so and I like, expect some ethanol. When I inhale deeper to try to determine what type of herbs are in there. I'm thinking coriander. It bounces back and forth between the honey and the herbs. And so... It's very difficult to determine. Coriander, juniper, and, uh, oh, there's one other thing in there. Could even be, like, rosemary. It's, um, it's light on the rosemary, if that's what it is, but yeah. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I get a pine-type thing it's, in there. It's, it's kind of earthy. Coriander's definitely in there. Juniper, herbaceous. too. But anyway, I'm going to try it. It has a pleasant aroma. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a basic white wine that has honey and some herbs at, herbs and spices added, as we said. But that's exactly what it tastes like, too. It's kind of thin, a little bit watery. Yeah. The, the flavor's not unpleasant. It's just not really all that great. It's not you that can strong. taste the honey because yep. the honey was added pure. It's not fermented. Mm -hmm. um, but it definitely doesn't taste like mead. Nope. 
tastes like white wine with honey added to it. Like literally, if you took a glass of a cheap white wine, added a couple teaspoons of honey into there, mixed it through, and maybe added some coriander, you'd, you'd pretty much have this. But that said... It's not unpleasant. It's pleasant. I like it. And if, like I say, if you just take that off, <laughs> then, I, then I think this is a perfectly fine product. I'm not super crazy about it. I mean, I'd drink it, and if somebody offered it to me, I'd drink it. I'd also point out to them that, no, that's not mead. <laughs> <laughs> Just because that's the way I am. <laughs> it is the way. Um, yeah, it is the way. But I I would say that their serving suggestions are spot on. Yeah. I think lemon would brighten this up level, lovely. Mm -hmm. I think they probably should have put some lemon in it. I think a hot toddy version with this would be would be nice. And I definitely see it paired with poultry. Yeah, I mean... So I, I can't disagree with any on of those. On a sweetness level, I'm going to say this is like medium sweet to sweet. This is this is getting up there in sweetness because obviously it's just a stilled white wine that they added honey to. Um, the herbs actually give it a little bit of almost a mulled wine flavor, mm -hmm. but not too strong. Yeah. It's actually on the, you know, yeah. pretty minimal there. It's honey forward. You taste the honey. It, it's it, more herbaceous than it is Yeah, I'm trying spiced. to figure out what the herbs are. Um, and I mean, it could even be like meadow sweet and things like that, that, yeah, that yeah. they traditionally used in mead, right. which would make this more like a mead. But the fact that there's no fermented honey in there, you you might've heard me say this. I get this weird bitter thing in the back of my throat when I drink mead. That's how I can always tell when it's real mead or not real mead. I don't get it with this. So this to me, as much as it tastes nice and it's pleasant, isn't really mead. And that's okay. I mean, everybody's allowed to have a product on the market. My problem with it is the fact that they are calling it mead. Well, you know, at least they say... They do say Immediately it. underneath there... Yeah, in little letters this big that versus this big. What it actually is. So. And they do say it on the back, too, and yeah. all that. So, yeah. I mean, they're, they're honest about it. Better than some companies that yes. say they're mead and they're really not. Yes. At least they're honest about it. I, I'm just not thrilled with mead being on there because this isn't meat at all it's not it, it has nothing to do with meat i'm serious this has nothing to do with meat they actually said they're recreating the oldest drink in the world and then why they talk you about just, fermented honey when they didn't actually why did you just honey? ferment honey i mean th it would have been easier th think of all the writing they didn't have to pay for you know <laughs> they could have just fermented the honey and been done and i'd be going this is great mead good job guys as you can see brian is a little stuck on the mead concept of this but as a beverage taking out rules exist for a reason that word entirely it is a pleasant beverage okay. well, i enjoy this beverage yeah i enjoyed it too my problem is this when you have rules in place they're there for a reason now if we just called all mead and all wine wine then that would be a whole different story and i'd be perfectly okay with this but mead is fermented honey that is the very definition of mead. So the fact that they didn't ferment honey makes it not mead. And I have a problem with people calling it mead when it's not. Well, they even put brand underneath there, and then they have the little TM. So it's like, yeah, that's the name, not the product. It's all marketing. It's Bunrati Mead brand. That's, that's marketing. <laughs> but that's deceptive, is my point. If they had put Bunrati Mead brand white wine with honey and spices all good and i probably wouldn't have bought it <laughs> I, you know i'm just being truthful okay. here well this is what mead monday is about and this isn't mead on so that, there on that note <laughs> but as always guys thanks for watching and have a great day <laughs> bye bye